The concept that we discussed and covered yesterday, strategy, low variables, different types of games, axioms of low variables, coordination games, intuitive thinking versus cooperative games, rigorous thinking, stock variables, and so forth. Some of the elements about economic theory, risk. Today, we will now apply those concepts in different terminology to a business commercial context. To do that, essentially we want to talk about strategic business planning or business as strategy. Application of a strategy in business and commerce. Business as strategy. We purposefully spent time yesterday to describe those strategic concepts before applying them into business. There's a couple of high level concepts that I'd like to share with you when applying this business into commerce. Firstly, is when you're dealing with commercial situations, like many situations, but particularly in commerce, other situations are applied to in politics and military, you can confront two possible, intermittently uh, possible um, contexts. One is a situation where you find you lack information. You just don't have enough information. Most of us are familiar with that. I want to forecast cash flows. I want to have a look at marketing, which we will cover in, in forthcoming sessions. Just don't have enough information. Absence, lack of information. Most of us are familiar with that. In parallel, intermittently, sometimes, uh, uh, in some contexts more often, is this another uh, set of circumstances where you've got what the literature calls surfeit of information, too much information. And if you look at our risk module in terms of um, volatility, uncertainty, complexity, ambiguity we describe, often that's the case where you've got a surfeit of information, too much information, either because it's too much or is too much for our bounded rationality, our ability to synthesize and analyze that information as a species. Those circumstances also will create ambiguity as much as lack of information. So you can have lack of information, surfeit of information, which require in business planning, application of those concepts into business, what's called in the literature, and you can check this in the book, which is referenced directly, it's called synthetic judgment, which means that no logical black and white application of our thought process can create a good strategic business plan. It has to go into what's called uh, synthetic judgment. Our activities in business, again, like any other concepts, but I'll, let me bring it back into commerce and business, are prim pri primarily involved with routine processes, procedures, which we cover in the future, Logical activities, management, which are predetermining our success. They're like foundations. Management, efficiency, operational activities, processes, procedures, communication, logical thinking. Then you've got in parallel and intertwined with that direction, vision, strategic thinking. Effectiveness. Remember the first axiom of flow variables, coordination games, intuitive thinking management? In business, they are called those things that I just mentioned. Remember the cooperative games, rigorous thinking, stock variables in business are the vision, direction, strategic thinking. So most of the time, we need to make sure when we're doing management, things are measured, TQM, 5S, Six Sigma, all the methodologies. Logical thinking, well measured, well iterated. When it comes into strategic vision, direction, synthetic judgment, there is no right or wrong. Everything is gray. It's the better paradigm of a strategic thinker. What's a paradigm is a mental map. More accurate paradigm of a strategic thinker will increase the effectiveness of this type, this site. So you've got two elements in the strategic business planning going forward. And we have some more definitions in the next session. 
One is the ability to deal with lack of information and surfeit of information through synthetic judgment. One is the ability of to cascade this into well-defined logical processes and procedures and routine actions, which create efficiency. And in parallel with that, direction, vision, as opposed to mission, vision, direction, strategic thought process. In doing so, the business needs to look at its external aspirations, internal capacities, which we cover in the next sessions, the gap between internal capacities and internal and external aspirations, gap matrix, and then deciding what to do about running of the business and building capacity.